Hold up. Where's this bad boy at? Hold up. Oh, oh, shit. Damn. All right, well, <laughs> where's my damn thing at? Here it is. Look at it. Ooh. Look at that bad boy right there. What's that say? Oh, Lord. It's so sexy. What's up guys, welcome back to another TLG gaming topic commentary where we talk about video games and, and stuff like that. And I'm really happy right now because as you can see behind me, the sun is out and I'm actually getting this done in the morning, which never happens, okay? Never. Now if you tuned in last week, you saw me talking about Conquer the Squirrel, which is one of my favorite video game characters of all time, but he inspired me to talk about today's subject, which is Forgotten video game franchises. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you through three different video game franchises, tell you a little bit about them, and tell you why I think they should be right back on the market. Why am I only talking about three franchises? Well, cause that's all we got time for. I don't have a watch on, but who does these days? Primitive technology. <laughs> Who needs it? Anyway, the first game franchise we're talking about is the Odd World series. Now, I'm sure some of you have no clue what I'm talking about right now, and if that's the case, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for you not being able to take part in what is currently happening. Anyway, this game was very fun, very unique. It took place in a different dimension in a very cartoony, sci-fi, but also comedy-related kind of setting. Now, all of the games from this franchise, including Abe's Odyssey, Munch's Odyssey, Stranger's Wrath, they all took place on this one planet that is known to be 10 times the size of planet Earth. So it's pretty damn big, okay? big planet. Now here's the cool thing. Even though this planet was very big, it was covered in volcanic crust, and after natural disasters, the crust collapsed into three different layers that formed the surface of this planet. And on each different layer had different climates and seasons and like vegetation and stuff. It was cool. And the protagonists of this series were known as Mudokons, or Mudokins, as some of you might pronounce. And this species itself was very human-like, because this game featured everything from religious beliefs, all the way to slavery, all the way to laws and legislation. Propaganda for our children? I'll let you decide. <laughs> but let's not get into all of that nonsense. Now my favorite character in the Oddworld series is a bounty hunter known by the name of Stranger who is badass for a number of reasons. The main reason being he would shoot live ammunition from a crossbow. What do I mean by live ammunition? Like Furbies and shit would shoot from his crossbow. <laughs> and it was so fun shooting animals and other enemies. I don't know why that is entertaining, but it is. But here's the crazy thing. The Oddworld series itself has received over 100 industry rewards, including Game of the Year nominations and things like that. And to this day, as a franchise, has sold over 7 million units. So my question for the video game industry would simply be, where the f is the Oddworld series? Answer that right now. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Next up on our list is Turok. <laughs> I don't know why Turok makes me do that. I just feel like I have to do that when I say the word Turok. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. Okay, it's a first person shooter that is actually based off of a comic book. Oh, only the hardcore fans know that. So technically, Turok could be made into a movie, which would be freaking awesome. But the first video game installment of the series came out in the 90s for Nintendo 64 and was a huge hit. By the end of the late 90s, it actually sold over 1.5 million copies, which was a great success. But here's the thing that went wrong with it. Okay, they had successful franchise in their hands, and the publisher known as Eclaimed Studios, if you can remember that logo right there, then you're at least 22 years old. 
But basically, Acclaim Studios was pushing out subpar quality video games that weren't meeting the industry standards. And eventually, the company went out of business because every single Turok just, you know, was getting a little worse, a little worse, a little more disappointing. But eventually, in 2008, they decided to completely redo, revamp the series and released a new Turok game, which I pre-ordered and bought the collector's edition, okay, because I'm a real fan. Plus, you got a free demo for it when you pre-ordered it that I probably played like 70 times at least maybe 80 but the revamped Turok video game was a huge success and it sold over a million copies in just the first two months so with that being said they actually have been working on a Turok 2 but sadly enough it just got canceled and here's why. The studio developing the game is known as Propaganda Games and they're actually owned by Disney. Now, Disney recently put out a set of layoffs to a bunch of the companies that it owns, which Propaganda happened to be one of them. And after a set of layoffs, they could no longer develop the game, so they completely canceled Turok 2. Thanks for fucking everything up, Disney! Wait, but you are making a new Star Wars, so... I guess I can forgive you. But hopefully because the 2008 installment was so successful, plus you have a lot of dinosaur themed forms of entertainment coming back, like you know, the new Jurassic Park, hopefully that helps Turok 2 to become a reality. Now our final game franchise that we're gonna talk about is the NFL 2K series. Yeah, what the f happened to them? Now if you're anything like me, you're very pissed off that there's no longer an NFL 2K game. But here's what happened. Let me inform you on what's really good. When the Sega Dreamcast was being developed, Sega asked EA Sports if they would license their Madden game to be produced on the Sega Dreamcast. Now what did EA Sports say to them? Nope, we're not doing it. So Sega basically said, okay, that's fine. You do your thing. We're going to create our own NFL game that's going to be way better than your shit. Oh, and they did. Because they formed Sega Sports and they murdered the competition. So Sega Sports decided to buy a license from the NFL saying that they could produce NFL games. And after over a number of years, they were actually competing with the Madden series for the best quality football game. But when NFL 2K5 released for only $19.99, as quoted by an EA Sports developer, it scared the living hell out of us. <laughs> so what happened was, EA Sports was so petrified that a video game, an NFL video game, just got released for $19.99. Plus, it was receiving a lot of great critical reception, you know, 9s out of 10s, 8 out of 10s, and the game was only $19.99. It had better running mechanics, it just overall was a better game than the game that Madden released in the same year. So EA Sports, being the douchebags that they are, walked into the NFL commissioner's office and said, hey, how about we stop this nonsense? and I'll give you $400 million. Oh, well that's a significant amount of money. Let's do this. So the NFL douchebags and the EA Sports douchebags combined to create a, a bag of douchery that basically eliminated all other video game development of any type of NFL franchise. And that really sucks because in NFL 2K5, you could customize your own crib. You could put like fish tanks and popcorn machines in that bitch. It was so awesome. But here's the good news. The contract that EA Sports has with the NFL is time limited. But the unfortunate thing is, because they've been the only football game on the market for so long, they've accumulated so much freaking money. And every time that contract is up for renewal, they can just throw out another $400 million. Again, f you EA Sports. All right guys, but that's it for this week's video. Comment below, tell me what you thought of the video. Maybe mention a few franchises that you wanna see come back. Go share the video with your friends. Click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to Thug Life Gaming already. Uh-huh. Well, imagine my knuckles making cracking noises so that you're really intimidated. <laughs> Alright guys, well me and, and my Turok shirt here, we're gonna get out of here. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see everybody here in a couple days. Keep living that life. How look. Cause that's what thugs do, baby. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.